It's the ninth edition of the Conference Le Web in the French capital Paris. It's one of the major events in the web industry, bringing together around 3,500 professionals, bloggers and fans of the internet. This year the subject is the Internet of Things. Many objects of our everyday life are now connected to the Internet. The physical and virtual worlds are merging. Des objets qui contiennent une puce I think there's been an explosion of objects that contain a chip and an operating system where we can find applications. These days we have 10 power 28 bytes produced in 2011. It doesn't equal the number of stars in the universe, but it's a lot of intelligence for use on tablets, PCs, phones, TVs, and then more dedicated objects such as glasses, rings, watches, etc. Une bague, une montre. Que sais-je Can any of you read my thoughts? Now my brain is connected up to the Internet. Muse is an astonishing device. It's a headband developed by Toronto-based company into Exxon. It's a portable EEG machine. It detects the user's neural activity in real time when relaxing or concentrating. Muse uses algorithms to identify subtle changes in the brain. The headband, connected via Bluetooth to a computer, can read the emotional state of the user. What are the other uses of this technology? So the best use of the technology right now is to help you understand yourself, to be able to improve your brain fitness, to be able to do things like meditate more effectively, to be able to study more effectively at work. And this is how we will play ping pong in the future. No bats, just head movements and facial recognition. Yeah,